Hasan Minaj, off with his head. It's a stand-up special and I was pretty sure he was supposed to talk about the New York Post article which came out about him lying in his stand-ups. Apparently he was fact-checked by the New York Post and they found that the things he was saying in his stand-ups were not true. Now I don't know about you guys but I don't go to watch a stand-up for autobiographical information or really to hear about facts. I go there for jokes. So for one, I take everything that a comedian says with a pinch of salt. I don't walk away believing everything like it was all facts. You know what I mean? And like, especially Hassan Minaj's stories because they are quite out there. They're quite like, you know, it's more like a dramatic performance than fact. I get it. The, uh, the, the one that got the, the, the stick, the one that, that stirred up the New York Post, I get it. It had some like emotional moments in it and stuff, yeah? But I still didn't walk away like that was a fact or like, oh my God, this is crazy what had happened to him. I found it really strange that the New York Post went in there. Anyway, guys, back to off with his head. I may circle back to the whole fact-checking cancellation issue in a minute. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's funny. It's not his best work. It's not hilarious. It's got his classic, very overdramatic style. And uh, yeah, it's funny. It's funny. That's, that's basically it, guys, to, to, to tell you. I mean, it's not anything special, anything amazing. It was just funny and that's it wasn't even hilarious he is very funny he is talented this is not his best work this was about as funny as one of his regular shows from his series you know the Hasa Manad show it's about as funny as that and that's it so that's it it's all right jokes about like Asian culture and stuff and different types of Asian and and yeah he hits a lot of things um, on, on the bullseye and stuff, yeah? You know, he's Asian, he can't really get the Asian culture incorrect, if you know what I mean. But that's it, it was no Chappelle. I suppose it's not never really gonna be, Chappelle's hilarious. But I do know that Hassan Minaj has got it in him. Like, he is, he is very funny. So he could do better than that, in my opinion. In my opinion, some of his best work, or one of his best examples, was the White House Correspondents' Dinner. That is genius. It is genius. It is concise, efficient, really quick, really witty, really funny. Just genius. That work is genius. Watch that. It's on YouTube. Hassan Minhaj, White House Correspondents' Dinner. It's very impressive. But yeah, this wasn't that. Now, back to him basically getting cancelled for lying in comedy, lying in stand-up. It's like, what's your issue? What's the big deal? He's a comedian, I don't get it. Are we gonna go and fact-check all the rest of the comedians? Are we gonna fact-check what they've all been saying to see if it was actually real? You know what I mean? There is such thing as like observational comedy and that's where people observe things in normal day-to-day -day life and then they make a joke out of it. That's not to necessarily say that they haven't embellished they haven't improved upon a situation to make it more funny, you know. And I, I don't, what, where is the benefit of like fact checking comedians works, you know. Again, I get it. There were some things that were a little bit emotional, a little bit tear jerky, a little bit hard hitting in Hassan Minaj's work. And people were like that never happened or etc, etc. But it's like, I don't get it. At what point did he say, this is a true story? At what point did he say, this is a statement of fact? Let's just get off the guy's back, let him get back to where he was, give him his Netflix show back, and we're good. One thing that I noticed, or what I, what I think is the case, in his Netflix show, he was upsetting a lot of big organizations, like a lot of like American government 
organizations or or even just like American like retail type establishments. He was finding the loophole that the organization was abusing and the organization was ripping off the consumer. He would find that in his well as part of his show, right? He would find those those loopholes, those places where things were being abused. And then what he would do off the back of that is he and his team would find solutions for it, things that would make it easier for the consumer, things that would eradicate that loophole, right? He would even set up websites and things that would solve problems and save lots of money, lots of headache, lots of issues for the average consumer, for the regular person, right? So he was helping people en masse and he still based his show and he basically still got cancelled. I know there were things that had come out about him being like bad to staff at his show. I mean I don't know the ins and outs of that. How bad that was, how things happened, I don't know the ins and outs of that, right? So that may be a thing. He kind of got caught up in it at the same time as Ellen. Of course Ellen had a lot more evidence, a lot more varied evidence than Hassan had. So there is that, but I don't know guys. I myself feel like the guy shouldn't have been cancelled. If anybody has more information on it, stick it in the comments. There's probably things that I'm missing, reasoning that I'm missing, you know. So stick that in the comments for us if you can. And uh, yeah, the comedy special, the stand-up special was all right. I'm sure he got a lot of money off Netflix for it. He can definitely do better. I don't think he should be cancelled. I think that he should still have a show on Netflix because he is brilliant. He's quick and witty and his show was really well researched. There was nothing like it at the time. There's nothing like it right now. So there's a gap in the market for that. And he had the best delivery, in my opinion. Quick, witty, very intelligent. So that should be given back to him, basically. Uh, impressive work. And um, that's basically it. Hassan Minaj is a bit of a, a, a rare gem. He's got his own style. Outside of that, guys, that's basically everything on Hassan Minaj that I've got to mention. I will thank you guys again for watching and I will catch you in the next one. See you later and take it easy.